For nearly two weeks now, we have been investigating why a man wanted for murder and nine other felonies would be released from jail. A judge ordered him to be held without bond. Well, 10 on your side, Andy Fox is digging into this controversy to uncover what in the world went wrong here, Andy. What went wrong and where do you begin? That's what our investigation is about. Our investigation at six reveals that those in charge of locking up Eric Nixon, who is accused of a high profile crime in Hampton, did not have the necessary information to inform them of what was going on. And when some found out about Nixon's possible release critics say they took an ostrich approach and buried their heads in the sand no one was trying harder at the time than the suspect himself that man right there Eric Nixon to convince the Newport News jailers he was not to be released did you tell them no I'm not supposed to go home I'm supposed to go to the Hampton jail yeah. and then what did they say to that Signed out on the street. He had nowhere to go but to good old moms, who finally took matters into her own hands and did what the penal system failed to do. The wrongful release of murder suspect Eric Nixon and who's to blame tonight at 6. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.